Hello. No, no looping stream. We're doing a keyboard stream. We're doing a Kepler 65. I'm also having problems with stream elements, so I don't know what's going on. And Discord is still down. Is, is it down for everyone, or is it just certain people? I'm honestly not sure. Discord's fine for me? Oh, mine's not loading up at all. Do you notice, uh, do you know when your clap starts shipping? Sometime mid-August, I believe? Not down for me? Fine for me? Discord's fine? What the? I think me, what is it, me and Scotty are the only people? Discord, what the? We again, we back, dude. Uh, what's up, R uh, Raph? How you doing, man, for five months? Hello, hello. So today's an interesting build because I'm also going to be desoldering this particular one. And uh, we're going to reassemble this board. The client asked me to I have a present tear down, down the Thursday current assembly. BB. Less than three. Regulish. Hey, yo, for real? Let's go, dude. What's up, guys? <clears throat> the client asked us to desolder. Although, I'm not going to lie, I forgot to empty my desoldering pump. Okay, I might have to go run and do that real quick right now. So please be patient with me while I go quickly do that. Um, getting my first space cable Cerakote done. So hyped. Hell yeah, dude. Space cable Cerakote. I mean, he he does a good job, bro. Hold on one sec, guys. Let me go empty this out real quick. One second. Actually, I have a bag right here. Let me use this one. We're still in the process of moving stuff, so I have like little things just throwing out papers. Alex, what would you use a spare piece to be for? Um, I just typically keep them as backups, man. I'm not gonna lie. They're just good to have as backups in case something happens. Like Lord knows you spill something on it, something like that. Always really good to have. Sometimes I'll use a spare PCB for other reasons, like, uh, we got a new filter too. You know, just, you just, I don't know, do, do a whole bunch of different things. The great 808 Discord blackout. The keycap on your set is so good. Dude, Vibrato looks so good on this, I agree. I don't know if the owner of the board's in chat right now. I think I saw him earlier. But let's reassemble my desoldering gun here. Oh, there. What's up, dude? Wait, no, Ivan, you're not it. The fuck? Uh, you almost got me, bro. Where is my tweezers? The Alpha is still like a cream color. Actually, they kind of, they're a little warmer than the stone color on the, um, on the board itself. But, uh, pretty nice, pretty nice colorway, I must admit. Which way does this go? This way. Alrighty. So today's gonna be a fun little build. So, Discord shit itself again? Yeah, it's not working. I, mine's still not up. So we didn't really get to talk about this earlier, but we kind of we kind of had a whole bunch of other conversations. Um, how are you guys? I feel like we kind of immediately got into the board because we got kind of excited. But how is everyone doing? Oh, now I can finally use this again since it's charged. I prefer using the trackpad these days. It's down for everyone. No, actually, some people here said it was fine for them. They got lucky. Super, super lucky. Also, thank you guys again for the subs. I appreciate it. And thanks for the follows, too, guys. All right. Let us desolder this. Actually, it looks like a very good soldering job. So, this should be a simple process to desolder this today. A pretty simple process. I'm hoping. That is our hope today. Very bright red PCB. Oh yeah. Uh, good now that my finger isn't spooling. What the? The board is working? What happened Kyle? Did you hurt yourself? Uh, I'm kind of mad, but I want to chill and watch some keyboard action. Yeah, I feel you guys. I think it's just the Monday blues a little bit too. A little bit of that. 
Whoever soldered that last time was a master. Yeah, it looks look how, look how good this looks. They did a really good job. Whoever soldered this last time, like extremely, very minimal flux splatter. Eh. Mountains are all very. Well, some of them are a little bit fucked up, but it's okay. This is very good. All right, let's see how clean is this going to be soldered. Pretty clean. Okay, let's get our uh, fan here too. When I was cutting the box open for that replacement PCB, oh no, dude. Alex actually did this solder job? Wait, really? No way. <laughs> I don't know who the owner bought this off of. Maybe I did do something, who knows. Alex on TikTok. TikTok? Say this isn't desoldering as nice as I hoped. Well, that one there's good. All right. Well. Hexzilla, thank you so much, dude. I appreciate it. Yeah, I, I thought I'd let you guys in on seeing the process of this because sometimes these don't go super smooth. Um, sometimes they go a little bit, you know, sideways. Uh, I had a wonderful day, aka I had a really shitty day. Wait, why? Also, Scotty, I saw your request. I will definitely take a look at it here in a second. My stuff came in from Cannon Keys. F Curry's, 30 a gasket ring, Bacon Echo FR4 PC, Bacon Echo, switch puller, I love it. key cap opener, and cherry stabs. I Damn. also got one Heimer sand switch. Dude, okay, that's a good little, that's a healthy little, uh, amount of stuff there. We love it, we love it. Uh, one sec guys, I'm just gonna try cleaning the gun a little bit, although I know I did that the other day. I only desoldered like two switches with it. Uh, where's my gun piece there? Other news, I got my bank card dealt with and I'm debating on the Bauer for the taco, or Bauer or the taco. Yeah, whatever is easier for you. I think the, uh, the Bauer or the taco are both Extremely good picks. I mean, it's not clogged or anything. Yeah, basically that's what it does. But the problem is, you never know what people use to solder with. better. Fuck it, I'm buying the, buying the Bauer. I say the Bauer's still a great choice. Such an amazing keyboard. This is fun to put together. Alright. <clears throat> Let's make a ducky and a bucket. why I drilled my case and PCB. To make a ducky as a barcane echo. I need tips on how to lube the F curries and should I replace the top housing with my Oil Kings? Uh, I mean, you're talking to someone who doesn't really like Oil Kings, so... I think leave the curries by themselves. Dude, something's clogging this. Oh, I wonder if this is... I mean, it doesn't look like it's lead-free. Yeah, my gun is not liking this. Yeah, Discord's super bugged out right now, dude. It's me. I'm clogging it. Sorry. Oh, brother. All right, well. We're going to give this our best shot. to be one of those times where we clean the gun a lot. Uh, Alex, too old to figure out NFC stuff. Now I can't even get hot solder with the Berber gun. 
are you trying to say, Frank? Hey, we're getting it, we're getting it. Slow but surely. I love you, Alex. I love you too, Frank. Getting in the automatic purp or auto automatic atomic purple version. Sea glass switches are interesting. They're really light sounding switches, though, eh? They're not super bright or anything. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Sometimes you get the, the odd board that doesn't do solder super, super nice, but it's okay, we'll get it. How many types of switches do you keep on hand? Uh, I'm gonna have a lot of leftovers. So, I mean, I got yeah, Nix, just Nixies. That's it, just those. I carry nothing else. The occasional bag of uh, milky yellows. Some obscuras and mainly Nixies. Uh, I had to sit down with my boss? Oh, let's, let's read this through. Is it not going to read? I had to sit down with my boss. Uh, sit down with my boss, someone I don't get to know what situation was. Apparently, I have a bad attitude. Someone was also offended I wasn't wearing my shoes in my own office. What the? Hold on. Will it actually read if I do like this? No, it doesn't go. I have, like, the reset thing now, but it doesn't, doesn't work. What the? Why would someone be mad at you wearing no shoes in your own office? I don't even understand that. That makes no logical sense. Why is it any of their concern? How to properly lube the curry switches? Just a very light coat. Truth be told, lube them like you would any other switch. Light coat, so you don't need much more. Um, my last curry came out so heavily lubed that I, that time, oh yeah, you, you have to. I mean, do, do look curries? Come pre looped? Be honest, you have cheesy feet, bro. Honestly, I think I might. Being real with you guys. Uh, I got sat down on my last job too because I had a bad attitude, so don't even stress, Megan. I had, uh. <laughs> I challenged a lot of people on what they thought a lot, so nobody cared for that. So, uh, yeah, I got reprimanded. Nah, this is a different job. Basically, I had different viewpoints and what could be better and more efficient. And because at my last job, I was kind of in charge of my own area. And uh, I mean, like, as long as the work got done and I still did things to a certain standard, like, why did anyone give a shit about how I did it? Um, again, within all standard protocols and stuff too. But, uh, yeah, it made no sense. It was like we just wanted to do a really inefficient way for the sake of being inefficient. I also killed my Envoy PCB last night? How? Can we fix it maybe? Sounds like they were micromanaging you. Oh yeah, dude. I told them that. I said I felt like I was being micromanaged. Their response was to give me one of those time sheets that I had to fill out every like 10 minutes of what I was doing type thing. They said I had to show everyone basically my homework, you know? Show us what you're doing during the day. That's nuts. Yeah. Seem so more concerned about how the work got done opposed to doing it. 
Yeah, which is, I guess, interesting. Uh, my wife has put my keyboard spending on a pause. Anything you can do from uh, getting bored with the hobby. Okay, you wanna know the coolest thing you can do? You don't even really need to buy anything. Um, if you still have like some of your parts, you can lube different, lube switches different ways. Um, you can experiment maybe if you have an older board, cause I don't know how many you have laned. Experiment with some different materials. You can play around with taping the PCB, etc., etc. Kind of have something as a workbench for creating some fun Franken, you know, projects type thing. Um, if you have hot swap boards, feel free and like, you know, move those things around. But I think ultimately the best way you can not get bored at the hobby is just being around cool people. Be around cool people, and I think that'll help a lot, too. Talk about keyboards, admire what other people have, you know? I feel like that helps a lot with the, the FOMO feeling sometimes. Whatever solder this is, it's super temperamental. Usually I can go a whole board with having to clean the, the gun. Uh, watching a loop stream will remind me how much pain it is a little bit, yeah. Definitely, definitely will remind you about how annoying it can be. Oh my god, please. <clears throat> can you send me an invoice for the power? Yeah, for sure. Uh, getting better at hiding your purchases? Joke? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't say that. Don't say that at all. Uh, that's bad. Don't get into that habit, guys. Please. <laughs> Did you ever, uh, build the Wind X80 TKL? No, they didn't send me one. Or they didn't... I don't know. I wasn't planning to... Uh, I wasn't on the schedule for building one, I think. Uh, I was worried that I was um, sent another slight defect board when I was testing the PCB before putting switches in. The U-socket was activating the whole row. Oh, V is kind of weird sometimes. Almost done. What do you think was more pleasant, the board you've experienced build building? The most pleasant board? Dude, that's hard to say. I think there's a lot of good experiences I've had. I wouldn't say there was like one pleasant board to rule them all. Lying is a thing I'm really bad at, so I'm screwed. Yeah, if I, if I bought something too, I... The same way, it's hard to hide, you know? Plus, I would want to share it with people that I, like, you know... I don't know, you just want to share the thing you got too, 90% of the time, so it's a little tough to do, you know what I mean? A little tough. That that whole idea of doing that, always a smidge hard to do. Alright. This week in What's in the Box. Alright, let's take these switches out, shall we? Shall we remove some switches? Let's use this one here. No, I might go I might go in the next few days here. I really want to go uh, watch it. So perhaps in the next few days I will see if I can find a time to go watch it or something. Of 
course, these switches are being, I don't know if the plate's just tight or the switches are odd to get out here. No, they're completely desoldered. I don't know if the client is okay with me just like yoinking these switches out. Because I feel like this, this plate is just really tight for these switches. Oh my god. Yeah, this is completely desoldered too. Oh, I didn't update it. I was having problems with stream elements. I couldn't get it to work for some reason. Let's try this one here. No. Let me see if I have a different, like more heavy duty switch puller. No, this is a Kepler plate. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is a little bit better. Maybe that one there's just a little bit stuck in. What plate is this? Is this like an aluminum plate? Yeah, it's aluminum. Daycare just messaged me. My daughter is high fever. Gotta go. Frank, hope everything's okay. Take care, friend. I, I hope for the best. Um, when Wolverine does the slice and dice, hey, don't spoil, please. No spoilers. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. I, I want to watch the movie. My orange shorts. Okay, guys, I'm I'm not even lying to you. Listen, where's my why is my music not pausing? Okay, you know what? Hold on one sec. Mods, what happened? Listen guys, my orange shorts have holes in them, all right? I don't think I wanna bring those to the meetup. Be real with you guys. I don't know if I wanna bring those to any meetup anytime soon because, uh, yeah. Alex, all pants have holes. That's where your legs go. No, these, these ones don't exactly have the right type, you know what I mean? The side of the board's really tight to get things off of. I filled the board with orange shorts and you should too. Third, like, what the? Guaranteed someone would want them? Well, you know what I noticed too? I had to, actually, I was wearing them before the stream. I think I told you guys, the elastic on the shorts is completely eroded now. Like, it doesn't even work. Um, so they constantly fall down. Uh, the string, which is also made of elastic, like whatever it is, it's stretchy. That doesn't hold my pants up as well as I want them to anymore either. And then, um, is Discord working again? Oh, it's working now. Oh, let me message the client, we're live. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty bad. <laughs> it's pretty bad, I'd say. Might have to go in and just reflow some of these, but they don't, maybe just this one here, but. Heat kills elastic, make sure to dry on medium. Well, I've had them forever. I've had them for such a long time that I'm not surprised they're just for the birds now, you know? Like they're just not, they're just not good anymore. Okay, let's warm up the desoldering gun one more time. I got one of your bordered t-shirts, first time I wear it, dripped my coffee on it. It's okay, you can throw it in the wash. I actually spilled some coffee on mine too. Threw it in the wash immediately. Do you like them though? Do you like it? I think the shirts turned out so good. I think they turned out super cool. I put hats and stuff for you guys too. Some people were asking for hats and pictures of the character, so I did that for you guys as well. Um, I think we'll all have a pair of the uh, of those shorts. I have a pair that if the cell phone is in the pocket, we'll lose into gravity. Dude, I have holes in my pockets too, man. Better rep the Alex shirt this weekend? Hell yeah, dude. Hell yes. That is super, super exciting. All right, let's, let's try to get rid of these last ones that are stuck in place here. 
even though it looks like these are completely desoldered, completely a-okay. Don't know what's going on. Uh, how long does it take you to lube a batch of 90 switches? I think on a good day nowadays, it takes me... Actually, let's flow some solder back in there. It takes me about two or three hours. Yeah, I couldn't get the command to work. I'll fix it later in here in a bit, guys. I'm so sorry the command doesn't work. Sometimes to uh, make it work a little better here, we're gonna put some solder back in and then just re-desolder it. Uh, these look like alpacas. I know the client said that he really didn't like the alpacas, which makes sense because alpacas are like, they're kind of hit and miss, man. They really are just like a super hit and miss switch. Oh my goodness. Like I, I don't mind them personally. I think they're an all right switch, but I know a lot of people just could not care about alpacas. Plus they're JWK too. So, you know, they, they have their own set of <laughs> issues. Oh, there goes that one. Uh, have you already shown security at uh, a picture of Adam so they can throw out? No, no, no. Guys, we're not going to do that to poor Adam. He's not even coming to the Novelty event. At least I don't think he is. Uh, what's up, Oak? Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry, Oak. Alex is building the Kepler 65. Wait, what's wrong with the alpacas? Oh. Ah, they're just hit and miss. It's JWK, right? Like, if you want the scoop on JWK, they're just kind of whatever. They're not like the best in the world switches, but they're not the, the best. Oh, is, that a, is it broken? Ooh, this might be damaged. Let's see. We'll test it now. I don't know. <clears throat> Now I feel torn. I'm seeing you this weekend and then Adam this week. Must have gotten lucky. Maybe. Maybe we got a little lucky. Uh, are you trying to bring a board to the NK meetup? No, I am actually not going to bring a board to the NK meetup. I am not in the slightest. I thought alpacas were recolored Duroc Linears. The, I mean... I think that was during the phase when things were very, 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 uh, how can I word this? They were extremely, everything was a recolor of everything during that time. So perhaps? Are you going to leave the NK meetup with a board is the real question? Probably not. Probably not. High def carried alpacas. All right, let's test this. Actually, where's the dog? Is it inside this carrying case? Make sure everything's all right. HMX is becoming like Akko? What do you mean? Dude, I really don't know why it's so hot here. I think something's wrong with our AC unit again. Whoa! Damn, this is sick. This is super sick. Okay, so can we just 
test the PCB like this. Beauty, yeah, definitely beautiful. So pretty. All right, let's test our PCB. That is quite the metal rectangle. It really, really is quite the metal rectangle. Uh, oh, I guess we need that other part of the cable because this has the limo connection in the back. So let me just move some stuff out of the way here, guys. Move some stuff out of the way and then let's go grab that other part of the cable there. Ugh. I hope the PCB is okay. I don't think the client said there was any issues with it. What a beautiful looking keyboard though, huh? Oh shit. Oh, why isn't my play and pause working? Dude, I didn't even realize how short this cable is. Why is it so short? I don't even know how I'm gonna test this. Um, tiny boy. Uh, it hooks up to a laptop. Maybe? No, it's. I mean, you can probably put it. I don't know if this is like a genuine limo connector or not. I don't know if I am more excited to see Mike's beard or your stash huh? this Saturday. Will you be bringing any boards? I bet Max would love to see the Event Horizon once again. <sighs> I'll see if I want to bring anything. I'm not 100% positive, but I will definitely check to see if I can. All right, I might actually just have to disassemble this and then... Shit, will this just work with like any old... Okay, hold on. Maybe we just test this with like a different daughter board maybe. There's like a lot of residue on the PCB, a lot of this residue here. I need to get this off. Um, how am I gonna test this now is the real question. The real, real question here. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. There's a lot of concerning pieces about this PCB here. A lot of really concerning bits. Looks like some of the traces are just like black. Like they're just like grayed, you know? So I'm not too sure if the traces are damaged. Hmm, weird. Uh, you should bring Greg so everyone can pet him. Maybe. Do I have another daughter board that'll work with this? I don't really know how I'm gonna test this. Give me one moment. <laughs> I think I need to get my laptop and use a connector or something. Where's my laptop? It's over here. Uh, I don't think I have enough room on my desk for this. I was not prepared to do this, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not prepared. Very much not prepared. Bring a single keycap from Greg. Comfort Colors shirts are the absolute best. Love the merch both in the simple design and phenomenal Thank quality. Thank you. Who was that? Thank you so much. Why didn't it tell me a name? Thank you for buying a shirt. I appreciate that. Oh, it doesn't say. That's weird. Well, I guess it's anonymous because it uses real names. That's true. Thank you so much. All right, let me get a connector for this as well. Actually, I don't even have something that'll work with this. Are the shirts posted on your OnlyFans, Alex? No, no, no. They're not on my OnlyFans. Let's just try using a different daughter board for now. Let's load up 
our... Sorry guys, just give me one moment. I know I normally don't do this stuff on stream. Because it's usually a little bit boring like this. But I'm going to try my best to uh, get it all set up here. Oh, that particular one doesn't work well. All right, let's just try getting this one here to work. I'll just take it out of the case or something. Wait, where the hell did I put the daughter boy piece? Oh, it's still stuck in here. One sec, guys. Do I have one of the... I guess I can just do it in my lap. It's not long enough to get to the bottom of my computer. Although I would have to... I can just do it in my lap. Okay, give me, give me like one sec, guys. Yeah, I will. It wouldn't be such a pain. I mean, it, it is kind of a pain in this case, huh? Yeah, it's a little bit of a pain. It's a, it's a smidge of a pain. I have a, a dock down here. It's just too short to reach. It's. I think it's more mostly a pain since the cable's not long enough. In. Yeah, I think so. Is it gonna recognize in a via? It does. Oh, is this not via compatible? Okay, I'll just test it. Thank you, Smarter. I appreciate that, dude. Get the tweezers out and let's test this. Hey guys, I'm so sorry I can't show you guys on stream. That works. There's actually a lot of keys that are not highlighting. Is this PCB a dud? Signature 65 Rev 1. Hmm. Yeah, the L's not actuating at all. Love of the character. Why is the L not actuating? Is it a bad diode? Traces all seem fine. F for the PCB. Dude, there's not a lot of this that's working. I'm not gonna lie, guys. A lot of it's not actuating. The G, the M. Huh. All right, hold on one sec. Let me see. No, the traces all look fine on the top there. There is one trace that's concerning me because it's it's like gray. But that shouldn't that one there worked. Hmm. Don't panic. Well, we shall see. Let me unplug this. You guys can stare at the beautiful keyboard. I might actually have a PCB in my supply of spare things that I actually might work with this. Let's see. F and chat. Well, not yet. We'll see what the client wants to do. Uh, that's fine. Okay. They actually said I could just use a spare one. Yeah, it, I don't know why. I think, I was wondering, dude, check this out. I don't know if this has anything to do with it. While I was desoldering it, I think that's just the flux that's burning, but you can see like whatever solder was used prior, like left this black residue. I have no idea. I, I literally don't know. I mean, it just could be a dud PCB too. But like for the Q, the, the what did I say? The G and the M too, right? Hmm, weird. Whatever. I use these things for spare parts, so it's not really a big deal to me. Not 
really a big deal at all. Let me go see what I have. One sec, guys. Thank you for being you. Hey, dude. Thank you so much, man. All right. First, I want to try is this one. This one's a pretty, pretty close match to it. I Damn, say. Alex. You cooked my only PCB. Sad emoji. <laughs> there was a B. But let's see. Before I actually try it. Eh, yeah, I guess we should see if this works with this. Alex Mill Maxing. No, not today. No mill maxing for me. Actually, do you, the owner, do you want me to mill max the space bar? Totally up to you. I'm not sure if you want me to. Where is my dock? Where did it go? Huh? Oh, there it is. Ooh, yes, please. Sounds good. Mill maxing. So mill maxing is basically installing these little parts that uh, essentially, when you pop them in, they make the board hot swap. They're pretty handy to have. All right, this PCB works. It is a parallel PCB. You chill with me using this. Let me double check it all actuates. It's a, it's a blue one, so it's not quite the PCB you have. Yeah, this one here is working. Or actually, no, the V is frozen. Yeah, we're good. Let's make sure. Sorry that I have to do this in my lap, guys. I know it's kind of silly looking, but the cable's too short. By the way, Vit Vitaly, why do you have such a short cable? Oh, he said, be right back. This is, this is tough to do.
Looks like we are working 100% here. Almost done testing it. Oh, is the G not working? G's working. I was born with a small cable. What the? A shorter cable from PGK? Uh, that's what it came with? Uh. I think I've only ever built one of these boards in the past. All right, we are all good. This one here works. That means I can't turn it on afterwards to type on it. Jeez. Ah, I'm sure the cable has a good personality. I wonder if I can, I mean, I probably have a whole bunch of spare cables too. I wonder if I can give this, this person a, uh, a longer cable, but I don't know if this is a genuine, genuine Limo connector or a Flemo connector. And I don't think they work in tandem. What a beautiful board though, huh? Look at this, look at the finish on it. Look at that. Yeah, I don't know if they work in tandem. The inside's pretty too. Rest in peace, Project Keywords. It's a genuine five pin limo. Oh, then I have some genuine ones. Maybe I can, I don't know if they already have a longer cable that'll work for them, but. Four pin, FEMO is four pin. Oh, is that the way to tell the difference? All right, let's do some stabs, shall we? Yeah, it's a beautiful looking keyboard. I'll flip it over, it is kind of heavy. Um, this needs to be cleaned, it's a lot of fingerprints on it, but very, very pretty looking keyboard. Ooh, almost click some buttons on mine. Very, very pretty. Why am I struggling to get these things out, dude? Alrighty. Some night stabs. One of the most requested things people had ever been asking me for is to take a look at these things. Some good old night stabs. Very good, very good stabs. <clears throat> All right. So layout wise, actually, do we have on the build command or build sheet, the layout the client wants to use? I'm pretty positive we're doing 7U, but let me just like double check. Um, oh, so whatever we had built. So yeah, 7U, short shift. So yeah, pretty standard. Pretty standard build here. By the way, we found the, the working PCB for you, Vitaly. Um, all right, nothing else for, so this was interesting because Vitaly asked me to source him some, some vintage blacks. Well, I did. I've sourced him some, some vintage black switches and I even sourced myself some and they were all bad. I was telling you guys earlier, uh, they can't, they took a while to come in cause I had ordered them like basically from like a non vendor. It was just like from someone. Well, someone who sells vintage blacks and they were a little on the pricey side, but uh, they were they were not good. So we opted to use some MX2As, some uh, cherry, cherry switches here. I think these are gonna sound excellent. I also spring swap these for the client as well. So, and we actually filmed them as well. We are using some, some nice films for these. So let's get these all lubed up. That's the thing though with vintage switches, guys. This is not the first time this has happened to me. Sometimes like you get a batch that's just so bad. Actually the batch that I put inside, not the last board, the Encore that I used them. There was another board that I used it on. I, I would say like the, the rate of which I had to throw out those vintage switches was pretty bad. I ordered 90 and I think I was left with like 68. Um, but I mean, that's the risk you take. I've had friends tell me the exact same thing. So which films did I use? These ones, these are a good one. These are pretty much uh, my other go-to. I order these too. 
uh, if I don't have deskies, simply because I get a little bit of a discount when I order these two. So these are like eight bucks a pack for me, or whatever the price is, I don't remember now. But they're exactly like deskies, basically, the exact same thing. Yeah, I mean, I ordered those probably like a year and a bit ago. So, so we need four total. Using your own code? You don't get credit when it's your own. It just gives me the discount. It knows it by email. Are vintage blacks um, not rep, rep I'm not gonna try browns, I cannot talk. Uh, I mean, I'm sure they can be. I think people buy it for the sake of like the old tooling and whatnot. And obviously that tooling doesn't necessarily exist anymore. They end up being super, super, super scratchy. It's pronounced, yeah, thanks Lane. What I'm thinking is I probably have one or two good ones that we can use in Vitaly's board today. And then we can just use the MX Blacks on the Alphas. And maybe we find some decent vintage switches to put on the other ones. All right. Let us get some lube. <clears throat> and let's start brushing some lube in here. How are you guys doing tonight? Hope everyone's doing absolutely swell. So what's special about Nixies? Uh, the milky top on them. I mean, they're they're based off an old switch called. You know, they were also called Nixies, but the new the new ones are just different, just because they're different tooling. But uh, I don't. I've never had an OG batch to compare to, so I'm not actually too sure. Not actually too sure at all. I've been better, but the good vibes are <laughs> no problem, dude. Yeah, I I think today's definitely been just a slow day for everyone. Also, Vitaly, it, I don't know, I can't remember if he asked or not. Do you mind if I take some photos? It might only take me like a day to take some pics. I might even just do this tomorrow, but I think this is too pretty to pass up. I'll obviously send you all of them as well. I, I meant to ask you, but I just forgot to ask you, I think. Did a patina on a weight? I want to try that too. I just noticed some minor error in my build though. Sent you an email on it. <gasps> what happened, Fried? Uh, patina on the for a board. Just noticed some minor error in my build form. Oh, let's go see what it was. Did you already send out the board, Fried? Now I can't remember what board it was. Why am I why am I blinking, Fried? Why isn't it popping up? Oh, I have to reload my thing here. It, it's Elquan's birthday? Happy birthday, Elquan. Happy birthday. Wait, tomorrow's your birthday? Happy pre-birthday, because I... Well, actually, I'll see you tomorrow anyways. Happy birthday. To Super Mario Era, I put split numpad equals, but I meant split numpad plus. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Sounds good. I'll, I'll make a note of that for my schedule thing as well. My little note section. I will 100% make a note. Sounds good, my friend. Yeah, there's been a lot of uh, build requests the last few days. All right. Dude, Elkwan, are you doing anything special tomorrow? Hell yeah, dude. I can't get over the finish of this. It looks so good. That is such a sweet board. I think the owner of the board put uh, Space Cadet in the bag. So I think that's what we're probably gonna use for them, but damn, super sick. I had my birthday party on Saturday. What'd you do? Where'd you guys go? If you don't mind me asking. I'll just ship the fossil off to space for Cerakote. Hell yeah, it's gonna be so nice. What are you getting again? What's Cerakote color? Or what are you getting done exactly there? 
Do people still do birthday parties? I mean, I'm gonna, bro, Bunny, I don't know if my stream deck's not working. If I could, I would, bro. If I could, I would, I would do one. But I don't know enough people to do one for me. And plus, I don't, have I told you guys, me and my girlfriend sh share the same birthday? So I also don't really care about my birthday in particular. Like it's just not a day that I give a shit about. So we, we kind of spend the day celebrating hers. So yeah. Yeah. I don't really care for birthdays. I never have. Maybe a little bit when I was younger, but it's not like I ever did anything for them. I don't know. Not really my cup of tea. What's up, Abel? How you doing? My dad's birthday uh, is the day before mine and my godfather's the day before that. We call April our B-Day month. That is so funny, dude. What are the chances of that? How convenient. Does that make the relationship sharing birthdays? I want to pause the music for this one because I need to tell you guys. So I think we both come to the consensus. Well, okay. For me, because I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. But... I think my girlfriend feels the need to celebrate mine still, even though I say don't worry about it. So it takes away from her birthday. So I think it, it's become a little bit of an inside joke now where it's like we kind of we lose the fact that we, you know, like on your birthday, you're supposed to be a little bit self-absorbed type thing. But you can't because we have to worry about each other's birthday now. So it's a little bit funny because we have to do that. Uh so it's no longer just about you, right? But it's also really cool. So I don't know. I think I think it's neat. I think we both like enjoy it as well. You know what I mean? Why is this not playing? What the fuck's going on here? Is there like another thing open? <clears throat> Lots of data being uh, gathered on people. Uh, what? What happened, buddy? My mom and dad, brother and girlfriend all have the same birthdays within the same two weeks. But have you guys, okay, disguised. I feel like in my family, at least, we probably pick like a weekend and then, uh, you know, just all do it all in one day. You know what I mean? That way there, it's like, it's at least you kind of remove the hassle of having to go everywhere. I don't know if you guys do that. All right, one more stab to do here. No, that would be too simple. I go on multiple adventures. Big true. Well then. <laughs> so is it like every weekend something else happens? Uh, just get it Cerakoted color. I want to give away for a free one by space. Keeping the color a surprise for y'all. Damn. Okay, okay. Ooh, my back. Oh, Mr. Space Cables did send over the float in case anyone was interested in that. So for the, for the night stabs, I know typically I don't use any dielectric grease. But I feel like I want to and just do a very small amount because last time I did, I had a really good success on that. So I think I'm going to do the same thing here. <clears throat> let's see. Let's see. Let's grab my Delectric Grease. Where on earth is it? Mr. Mr. Grease? Oh. Mr. Grease. I'm very interested in the Float 65. I think I typed on one at one of the meetups, but now I don't remember. Oh, there it is. Jesus, why is it like hiding in plain sight? Uploading a story on Instagram announcing I died problem solved. <laughs> what the? Perfect. Very, very thin coat. We do not want to go too thick on this, by the way. Uh, basically that, and then Christmas is the next month. I know, Christmas is killer. Christmas is always tough, dude. There's no way the Float 65 sounds good, I'm sorry. 
Can I say that I actually really enjoyed it when I typed it to meetup? But it was a meetup, right? Like, you know what? We'll try it again here. But it's a fun little board. I'm excited to try it out. If it doesn't sound good, it doesn't sound good. We'll see. I mean, obviously, you guys, there's no way to lie through that one there, right? So, like, you guys will see. But I don't know. What tells you it won't be? With the float 65? Wait, I'm confused, buddy. What'd you say? Oof. I need an ego boost? Dane, you know what? Dane, I gotta say, dude, whenever me and you talk, you make my heart float, all right? Love you, Dane. I hope you're having the absolute best day, all right? Because you are, Dane, you're a good looking guy, all right? You're smart, all right? You got a good head on your shoulders, all right? And you make me, you make me happy, all right, bro? Hope you're having a good one, dude. I'm curious why this float 65 wouldn't sound good. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm curious too. Is it just cause it's like open and just one piece of metal type thing? Is that why you are making the assumption there? I mean, you're not wrong for making that by the way. Alrighty. Dane never cleaning his ears out after that? Damn. God damn, dude. All right, so let's install. These guys, we'll do one at a time because I feel like these will kind of fall out if I don't. Screws. I'm never gonna recover from that one. Hey, yo, dude. Hey, yo. Screwdriver. Mm, this bit goes here. You know those digital photo frames? Should I just save that clip and play it over and over again? Dude, I really want a digital photo frame. Woo. Hey, thank you, stupid. I appreciate you, dude. Thank you, stupid. Sup, supid. Either any way I sound it, I just I can't I can't pronounce it for some reason. Love you, buddy. Hope you're having a great one. Four months, bro. What a strange keyboard. I can't wait to see what the PCB is like. Integrated Limo. It's an integrated Limo. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if the client answered this or not. I don't know if they're still at their computer. Do you have an extra cable? At, like, do you own a longer one? Or did you want this shorter one? I think it's just kind of, <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's just, it's such a short cable, but apparently someone else said that the previous owner of this board requested it to be really, really small, which makes sense. Cause if they had like a, a dock or something, it just makes a lot of sense. But yeah, I, I actually prefer really long cables. I'm always one to, to have a longer cable and just kind of wrap it up rather than a short cable and then be like, ah, oh, damn, my setup's changed now and I can't use this anymore. What deep switches have you guys been using lately? Um, I'm not too sure. Deep ones, maybe the, I mean, dude, I still think the curry switches are fantastic if you're going deeper switches. For me, it'd be perfect to be able to get rid of that damn coil. Just use the uh, straight cables, no? All right, buddy, no need to brag. Okay there, dude. Okay. Most clacky switch, Alex. Um, most clacky switch. I don't know, I feel like this varies depending on what brand you prefer. But I mean, HMX can get pretty loud. The Wuche Auroras can get pretty clacky. It just depends, you know? Uh, I went to a shop and tried ones called Balls Deep. It was deep. Huh? Morant? Hey, can I say that I really don't think Morandis are deep? I, I actually think they're more of like a middle of the pack, kind of low-key 
higher pitch. Oh, Vitalis, I was curious. You're back now. Do you have a longer? She did a 12 mile cycle ride? God damn. Do you have a longer cable? Not, not obviously for me to use today, but do you own one? I may have an extra one or two that you can just have. Yes, I do. Okay, you're good then, bro. Cool. PCB coming along. Mail it real quick. <laughs> I just won't be able to type with it on the on my desk here, unfortunately. I have no open slots left. Asking about the photos again? Oh yeah, do you want photos done too of the board? The reason why I ask is because like, sometimes it does take me a day or two to, to, to do them. But if you'd like some pictures, I can definitely get you some photos of your keyboard once it's all built. Plus, I'd like to take some pictures. If I'm, I'm being a little selfish, you know? Take off the feet. The feet. Oh, those little... Nah, that's all good. Do you want me to take them off just for you? Like, for this build? The feet I added? No, you can leave them. We can leave them on. Unless you want me to take them off. <laughs> What's going on here? What are we asking? Is this keyboard related questions? I'm not even sure anymore. The pictures would look better. Would I be able to put them back on though? I might have extra feet or something. We'll see, we'll see. Trust, all right, all right, all right. If you, if you want me to, if you're telling me to, I won't be upset. And hopefully you weren't either. All right, so there's also a polycarbonate plate I think we're supposed to be using for this. I guess I just done this. Is this polycarb? Or is this... Is this palm? What did the note say again? I don't even remember. It feels like this is palm or something. Yeah, it almost looks like palm. Mm, where's my little... Where did I stick it? Dude, I'm all over the board today. The guy who gave it to me told me it's poly. Really? I mean, it could be. I, I, I don't know why. I guess my brain typically associates like these white plastic plates. Yeah, they kind of look like palm. You, you still want to use it if it's, if it's palm? I think it'll sound good. Totally up to you. Did that have a peel? Oh, that's a good question. No, I don't think it does. Or does it? I'm not even sure. I can't see. God damn it, I hate these things. <laughs> should it should I use that black PCB? The black one didn't work with the e daughter board though. It's okay. The blue one's cool, right, Vitaly? I don't know, I like the blue one. Okay, I I feel like it does have some sort of peel on the back here, but I see bubbles of some sort. I'm not sure. Oh, no, that's not a bubble. That's just a scuff. Never mind. Yeah, okay, never mind. I think it's just like this. There's nothing I can see that peels off on it. But you guys got me like paranoid now. No, there's nothing here. Yeah, I mean, I, I agree with Himmel here. They have roughly the same sound signature anyways, so. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. All right, so we have some cherry switches. They're done with a aftermarket spring because the stock spring still sucks on these. Oh, we're gonna do a hot swap, let me get the things later on for that. Hot swap, enter. But we'll pop everything else in. Actually, probably need a plate fork for this. Let's get our fork out. Where is my plate fork? Was I using that the other day? Where is my plate fork? Oh, dude, this is what happens when I, when you start to move everything. You just lose it all. Do 
just tend to misplace it. It's okay. The move will be done soon. You think painting a palm or PC plate black to hide it better would affect the sound? It might affect tolerances, maybe, ever so slightly. Alex, if I like the sound of a heavy spring switch and I change the spring, the sound would still be the same? You know, I would argue that if you do change the spring, sometimes the, the sound can change. So I would argue that yes, it could possibly change the sound of your switch just cause like it doesn't, it won't necessarily be as like, you know, bouncy back, I guess. So that top out sound can possibly change. Oh, Himmel makes a good point there. You can dye the PC or palm. That's for sure. You can indeed dye it. I can hear fire trucks. Oh yeah, it's just outside. Uh, I love hyperglides, but for gaming, they're a bit hard. I mean, I think, I mean, are you using the stock spring right now? The stock spring on cherry switches, I would 100% say need to be swapped out. Those things are pretty poo. You can always just go a little bit lighter. Like, you know what's a good compromise in cherry switches? Like a 60, 65, 68 gram. You'll notice they're more consistent as well, like just better quality, you know? Definitely something that I would consider. Ooh. Yeah, also a longer spring to get that kind of uh, bounce back could help as well. Gives you a bit more of like a top end sound back as, as well there. Hi Alex, what dif what's different uh, between PP slash PC plates? Why PP top mount a thing that you guys recommend trying? I think Plastic plates and top mount just have such a nice, unique sound profile. So I, I don't know. I personally think they're uh, they're just nice for that. Like it has a good balance of everything. It won't be super harsh, but you still get that nice top mount feel uh, with a little bit of that plastic plate being a little bit more flexy for your PCB. So I don't know, I personally think it's a good way to go. Perhaps I'm wrong, but I, th I think it is. Personally, I do. Uh, Alu top mount's just too harsh. Yeah, it's, it's a bit harsh. And again, it kind of mellows out when you use the plastic plate, so. How do I open this again? I have to look up a, a guide on how to open this. A little, I don't know, have I built one of these? I'm pretty positive I have. Let's see, let's unplug this actually. Unless we screw it from the bottom there. Cool. What's the main reason you use that fork? Okay, here, I'll try to demonstrate if I don't use the fork, we'll use it here on the top, for example. Ah, well, okay, this plate's a little easy to do it with, but sometimes the, the switch will actually push down on the plate to go with it. And then you end up with a switch that looks like this. You end up with this. Actually, this is a great example. Um, you end up with a switch that maybe you're not able to push down because it gets caught on the plate and you're not actually able to sit it flush on the on the plate. So you would have to support the plate from underneath, but that's really hard to do on the middle ones, for example. Uh, actually, we got a few in, we probably don't need it anymore, but you wanna just make sure like the, my, number one ex my number one tip to give anyone here, all right? If you're building a PCB, even with hot swap, you're putting in your switches, Make sure it all sits flush. It needs to sit flush. Absolutely needs to sit flush. Uh, if, if not, like if you have little gaps underneath or like it's not sitting on the plate properly, you might get a weird sound signature. 
Who's my favorite clone in Star Wars? I mean, yeah, probably Rex. I don't know. There's a lot of cool clones in, in Star Wars. There's a lot, guys. How dare you guys make me pick. I always felt like they help with the force in general when inserting switches. I mean, yeah, they, they, they just help for a bunch of reasons. It's quality of life for sure. Agent Purple! I'm super late, but hi, Alex and chat. Hi, how you doing? I hope things are well, friend. Did you see it, Vitalis? Okay. I have not seen it yet, but I want to see it. Honestly, dude, I might even just go tomorrow or something. Everyone's been pumping me up to go see this movie. Um... So I, I will definitely have to check it out. It it was gas? Oh my god, dude. Super, super dope. What's my hot take on Switch? <laughs> okay, not really a hot take, but like... I don't care what anyone says. Pre... Okay, here's my, okay, maybe this is, a, I'll do a harsh version of saying it, and maybe you guys can call it a hot take. I don't care what anyone says, pre-lube switches are not good enough for, for like, I mean, they're, fuck, I don't know how to say this properly. Wait, let me, let me think about it. Pre-lube switches are never going to be the same as something hand-lubed, and I would 100% recommend, even if you get them, just to like, Open them up, move some lube around, make them feel better. You know, they're never going to be up to the same level as something hand lubed. At least for now, anyways. Uh, plus, you get your own preference when you do it hand lubed as well. So, I don't know. For me, maybe that's my hot take. I know a bunch of people will be like, but they're good enough. They're 99% of the way there. Yeah, but 99 is never 100. You know what I mean? And I think the coolest part of the hobby is... Okay, Crydar, leave me alone, dude. I don't know how to be mean. But the coolest part of the hobby is just, you know... Is doing all this stuff to, to have this journey of building a keyboard. You know what I mean? A hundred percent is never possible. Depends on what you're striving for, I'd say. I like the way you math. I like the way you maths. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Uh, don't care what anyone says. Had me laughing the entire time. Has there been bad reviews for the movie, by the way? Oh my god, Crydar. That's mean. No, that's a mean way of saying it. No blockers or nothing, right? Yeah, we're good. <laughs> that's truly a mean way of saying it. Oh, I need to take this one here. I don't know why I keep putting that one there. We are going to do a hot swap enter. Let me get some sockets. Oh, actually, I think I have some sockets right here. You said Arsh? Uh, not really, but people are saying it's overhyped. How dare they? Honestly, how dare they, dude? Have they seen Hugh Jackman? How beautiful him and Ryan Reynolds are? Have they have they seen it? I would dare to say no. Actually, is this PCB even more maxable? Oh, it is. Okay, good. Uh, the more difficult mil max. Yeah, these are the difficult ones. It's okay though. We'll get it in. These are the very, very difficult ones. Have you seen the recreated the Wolverine meme with Hugh Jackman? Really? These are like the super, super flush ones. These are 3 3. Uh, these are, wait, which model is this? I think, so I normally get dash one. These are zero. So these are even shorter. Um, I This is the only batch. I am ever getting of these, by the way. I uh, I think these are a little too short. 
Like they're they're shorter than the pin. I think dash ones are the perfect length, but there are some people who actually really prefer the smidge shorter length because not, I mean, there's definitely different use cases, but yeah, I definitely prefer dash ones. <laughs> dash ones are my faves. Uh, they're so miserable to do on 1.6 mil. I guess you're right. They are great for like a 1.2 mil, right? But yeah, they are kind of miserable to do on this one for sure. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. We'll get we'll get it. Not a big deal. Is there a difference between a hand lubed HMX switch and a pre lubed HMX switch? I mean, I think so. The consistency is where you're gonna find the big difference. And consistency. You'll find like, dude, I just had a client. We did, okay, here's another kind of like bad story about vintage switches. We did vintage switches for a client about a month and a half ago. He actually sent back, the, he had another commission he wanted to do anyways. And he's like, dude, he's like, I, I can't help but think like the more I type, there are some switches that feel more broken in than others. Just because they were used vintage switches. And like you run that risk because obviously like when you're buying used ones, people click things differently. Um, so yeah, we, we ended up soldering, taking a few out, right? But like, uh, I, I really I really think that like people can tell even small, minute differences with things. Uh, I had another client who- Love your builds. Regards thank you, Insta G. Thank you, dude. I appreciate the five, bro. Um, thank you, thank you. But I think some people can tell the difference there. I think even with like uh, amounts of lube, people are really sensitive to those things. I mean, you're typing on it for hours on end, right? So, I mean, I'm personally pretty sensitive to those things. I don't know. I think everyone might be a, a smidge different for sure. Everyone's a bit different. Oh. I was sold the HMX Pearls being told they're really smooth without self-looping. Can anyone concur? I mean, dude, HMX switches are, like I said, they're like 95% of the way there. They are. They're really good for what they are. For what they are, they're fantastic. Oh, I guess I should use this too. Huh? Put the plate back in the box. Put this here. Put this here. I use 3301, 305-1 uh, on literally everything and never had any issues. Yeah, I've never had any issues with dash ones either, but. We're good. Now. This is not the right Nixie. God damn it. I thought this was a Nixie. Uh, let's just put, what other switches do we have in this little bundle of random goodness here? All right, maybe we'll find something different. I'll put this one here for now. Just to make sure the socket works. Perfect. We are golden. Oh wait, no, I bent the pin. Uh, did you have more even placement with dash zeros? Did I have more even? Oh no, I didn't bend the pin. Why does it look so deceiving? Oh no, I'm good. That was deceiving looking. Oh, it's because this pin's a little bit of a different color. See how, see how short these pins are? Look at that. Look how short they are, but they're, I mean, they're really flush. Like, check this out. I don't think I had even placement. Look how flush these things are. I don't know if I have a good way of showing you guys. They're pretty damn flush. I think these are, are these short? These are, are these shorter than 7305s? Now I don't remember. I don't know. There's too many hot soft sockets too now. I don't know everything. Yeah, these are super, super flush. It's an interesting socket. They're just a pain in the ass to do. I'm only gonna, <laughs> I'm probably only gonna use these for very particular builds or space bars, to be honest. Oh, I still need this. <clears throat> uh, 
Um, but I don't want to say it had like more even placement. Oh, wow, oh wow, 13 months. Love you, brother. See you soon, less than See three. you very soon, dude. Love you too, man. Thank you so much for 13 months of being here. Time to solder. Two Alex streams in one day, what a treat. I'm definitely feeling a little bit more tired now. So I apologize if I'm not as like talkative during this particular stream, but I want to let you guys know I appreciate you guys still hanging around. Uh, I just want to say thanks. Receive the board from the, the Lumen Key giveaway. Oh, from the, the giveaway we just did, El Pachula. Really nice board. Thank you so much. The pocket Nixie goes hard. Hey, dude. Congrats again, man. I'm really happy you like it. Hey, okay, but... El Pachula, now that you have a Lumen keyboard, be honest, would you say they're kind of high key good? They're pretty good, right? For what they are? I think they're underrated, personally. Hydrate. WS Pearl switches. Have I used those? I don't know if I have. Thoughts on the Ruber House group buy? Um, what aspect of it? A lot of people have asked. I, I love answering questions, so don't even stress, bro. I don't mind answering things again. But, like, what are your thoughts on it? I think more importantly, you know? Uh, they are, like, definitely hits above its price point. Dude, really. I got the Pavlov you sent too. Had to travel and haven't put the keycaps on it. Thank you so much. Anytime. Yeah, the, there's still a few people who I didn't ship out yet because... There's still actually two people who have not given me information. Um, I'm going to be honest, guys. If they don't give me information within like... Oh, shit. I am sitting on my leg. Thank you, Pug. If no one gives me information by the end of August, I'll give them till August. I'll just re-give them away. All right? Alex, you never sent me a form. No, 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 Fried. I, there's still two people. I think you and one other person that I never sent the form to. Um, honestly, Fried, I'm so sorry. This week's been so crazy. Let me do that, actually. Let me solder in the, the, these switches, and I'll do it for you right now, bro. Actually, fuck. I'll just do it right now. <sighs> Whoa, what did I click? Huh? I clicked something here. Oh no. Um. Oh no, I clicked something and now I, I did something wrong. Oh god. What have I done? Alright, whatever. Who cares? Alex, can you send me the form too? Hey, dude. Ain't no way, bro. Uh, let's go Twitch. Let's go here. There we go. You're good, dude. Got you. You can fill that out. Just hoping. I was one. No, 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 no. The two people are the ones from the first day, and then I don't know. Nothing basically came from that. So, I mean, it is what it is. What am I supposed to say? What button did I? Oh, I hit studio mode. That's what I hit. <clears throat> I really need to think about coloring my PCB instead of just plain black. This particular blue is really nice. It's more of a, I mean, I think on my camera it looks more blue than it is. It's more of an aqua in person. Definitely more of an aqua. Uh, 
I'll be glad to fill up the form right now. I'll, I'll give him a few more, like, I'll give those two people a few more days, I guess, but... This isn't the first time people have bailed on what they've won, which is, I mean, it's always interesting, I guess, right? It always is a bit interesting. I don't always get it myself, but perfect fry. Thank you, dude. Uh, I think you like blues with more green in them. I agree. I like aqua colors more, or just like more green hued blues than I like blue itself. Blue is just not really my thing. Uh, I'm sorry I'm late. Don't spend. What the? Huh? soldering some corners here. Seems like the plate is slipping a little bit here in some of these switches. Uh, oh, shoot. What the hell's happening with my camera? Alex, quick question. I asked in Discord, but I know you probably got like a thousand messages. Do you know if production PCBs will work with your prototype? For the giveaway unit you won? Um, I don't see why not. I really don't see why not, personally. I don't believe they did anything different from that unit to the, the production. I really don't think they did anything different. What about a more purplish blue? I don't mind purple, like purple blues. Those are nice too. There's another bent pin there. I don't mind those too. Sorry, by the way, if this is asked a lot, but what's your desk? Uh, it's from Ikea, it's $99. It's a uh, tabletop called the Ekbakken. <laughs> I would not get it feet from Ikea. And you gotta be a little careful with these. With a lot of pressure, these eventually start warping. You guys can all give me your bent desk jokes now. I thought it was a more high-end table. No. It's, it's a $99 tabletop. I know, it does look high-end though, right? I do want to get myself a really nice table. If I'm being honest, guys, I think my next little, uh, my next little thing to myself eventually, I've only ever had Ikea tables. I would love to get myself like a nice piece of like real, like wood, you know what I mean? Maybe that's the next treat I give myself down the road, but I'm in a weird spot right now where I, I'm going to have to redo my, my, my setup anyways. I just don't know if I have the spare chunk of change to buy a, a whole new desk type thing, you know what I mean? So either I just kind of deal with it for now and then maybe a year down the road I do with it, do with it, but uh, I guess we'll see. Boss check, gotcha dude. Oof. Uh, Kia, I thought my screen was bent. I mean, that is true. I think, though, I, I do want a sit-stand desk. I think I would probably invest in the sit-stand motors more than I would just a new tabletop. Because you know how nice it would be just to stand up doing this right now, dude? Instead of sitting down. That would be so helpful to do that today. Lesson learned, don't buy a desk if it comes with a curvature rating. Huh? Wait, for real? 
Did you just stand desk for five minutes, then go back to sitting? Okay, real question right now. Who owns a sit-stand desk in chat? Who owns one? Who stands for more than five minutes? We're gonna find out right now. We're gonna find out. Who stands for more than five minutes? I stand all day at work. I do sometimes, I do, I stand all the time. Bam, dude. Dude, Lane, that's my dream, dude. I wanna get the under the desk treadmill too. It comes by in waves. Yeah, I can imagine. I mean, there's definitely gonna be times where I do probably don't wanna stand, but I get it. I have one of those as well. Oh, the under desk treadmills. I'm now considering a curved monitor for full stream. To move. Bro, cheese man, I need to stop, dude, for one second. Dude, hold on. Where's my, why is it still playing music? Hold on one second. Cheese man. I don't know if I can recover from that one there, to be honest. You know, I think more than anything why I want a new desk is so I don't get roasted for having a curved one anymore. All right. I've lost giveaway privileges. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're on the same boat with Adam. Get VR. Okay. There. Oh, why am I turning this off? Okay there, buddy. The curve adds character. You'll have to hang your old one in the background. Oh my God. I finished doing a very light coat on the curries. Now I put the rice to cook for dinner. Also, Alex, I am very much like your desk. I am very bendy. Sorry, huh? boss. At least he said sorry. Why did it take me till now to know what Cheese was talking about? Oh, my desk, dude. He must be a Canadian. Dude, why has everyone been saying that lately? Hey, on a real note, what does that even mean? You know how many people commented that on my YouTube channel today on random videos? Everyone put, he must be a Canadian. Why has everyone been saying that today? Is it like a new meme that I'm not aware of? Cause you guys are nice. I feel like it's done in a, not in a, not in that kind of way though. It just means Canadians are nice and say sorry all the time. We're not nice all the time. Can you see your audience location demographics? Um. You know I don't check those things. I mean, unless a company asks me for that information which I rarely even give them. I don't really check those things. I think mainly, it's probably mainly gonna be North America, maybe a bit of Europe. I think that's what it probably is. We should all play fingerboard with that half pipe of a desk. This is crazy. What is my day job? Um, I'm trying to think of a funny answer to that, but I have none. I do this. I was going to try thinking of something funnier, but it didn't work. This is my, this is my whole job. Doing keyboards, work for novel keys. Uh, I do other odd stuff, but basically content creation. I started doing this full time. When did I start doing this full time? Two, a year and a half, two years ago? Type deal? I think two years ago? I wish I can do that full time. I mean, dude, it, it's really fun. I'm um, I'm not gonna like sugarcoat it. I do think there's a lot of scheduling and like 
a lot of everything involved. And then on top of that, like I do technically work full time for novel keys as well. And you know, there's, there's just a lot of thought process and a lot of long days, but I think it's very rewarding. I think it's just very, very rewarding. Better than being an IT auditor. I worked in IT before this, and I will tell you, I that was my one and only time doing a IT type thing. I don't think I ever want to go work in the IT field again. That was not really my cup of tea. Uh, my role encompasses the meticulous craftsmanship of constructing keyboards alongside the creative, creative endeavor of product co productive content. That sounds so professional. Have you guys just ever like bombed uh, a uh, an interview so bad that you just didn't want to show your face to anyone who you knew who worked there ever again? I'm an air traffic controller. I love my job. I mean, that sounds really fun. I'm not going to lie. Oh my God, it does. It sounds like uh, that thing where the guy described changing a light bulb in the same way. What do you mean? What thing? Light bulb? What are we talking about? I feel like it takes a certain personality to be an IT. I can probably, I can get behind that actually. I do feel like you definitely, you, you need a certain personality type. I think you also need to be a bit resilient to kind of really angry repetitive questions a lot of the time too i don't know if you guys can agree yeah patience is a big virtue as well i think i lost patience as people were getting more and more mean to me in that field like I didn't, my, my job wasn't really help desk, but when I got put on help desk for a little bit to help out because the company needed it, it was a pretty, I, I'm gonna be honest, cause it was a pretty bad experience. I, I hated it. So a lot of people like getting mad at you, a lot of like dumb questions that were directed in such anger, you know what I mean? Like, dude, I'll never forget. Oh, let's do this last switch. I'll never forget the, the Weirdest question I ever got. Like, I'm sorry, I have to I have to say this is like a dumb question. I remember someone really wanted an app on their phone and they listed the app and I'm like, okay. Like, I I can try to help you find one. And I remember they were so like annoyed and they're just like, what do you mean? You're an IT, just like make one. I'm just like Bro, it doesn't work that way. And he wanted it on his iPhone, so like, even if I could make an app, like, I'm just like, I'm just like, it doesn't work that way. And he's just like, he's like, you're an IT though. And I've told this story a few times, and I'll never forget it because he was so like dead serious and like, what do you mean? I'm just like, all right, bro. Like, I don't even know what to say to this. Like, I, I really didn't know what to say. I was so sh shocked because he was so agitate it when I said I can't make the app for him because I don't know how. <laughs> Sounds like a skill issue. Yeah, I guess so. I guess it is. I hate to be that person, but how old was he? In his mid thirties? Maybe late thirties? Maybe at most, if you, I, I wasn't too sure. He looked young though. He didn't look like older at all. In India, if you're an en engineer, they will think you can fix a fridge or are familiar with But I feel like that's everywhere though, Zany. I feel like the moment you show that you're good with any sort of tech, immediately you're just branded as the guy who fixes stuff. <laughs> yeah, I, can, I, hate, I hate to be that person, but man, it was just like, really? And then the other time, I've told this story to you guys a bunch of times. I think the other thing that really made me hate IT was one time, I'll tell this in the sad mode. One time we were, uh, we got hit with like a ticket and they're like, yeah, our printer doesn't work in the back. So I like, you know, filled out the form for the ticket. I go to the back and I'm just like, all right, what's, what seems to be the problem? And then they just pointed at the printer, like printer doesn't work. All right. 
So I like look at it, you know, try to turn it on, you know. I go underneath of it. I'm like, oh, it's unplugged. And they're like, yeah, we unplugged it. And I was like, why don't you just plug it back in? They're like, that's not my job. And I was like, okay. And they're like, yeah, it's your job. We put a ticket in. All right. So I plugged it back in and it's just like, I don't know. I just felt petty to me, bro. It felt so petty. I just didn't know what to say. I was just like, uh, unplugging it wasn't their job either. I don't know. It, it, dude, it felt toxic. Yeah. <laughs> it was so bad, dude. All right, what bit do we need a hex bit? I think that was what made me really not want to work at help desk anymore. That particular story. So nice to see people t talking about my job. <laughs> do you do this too, man? Are you uh, in, in IT? Bro, I literally drove over an hour in the rain to do a job. Actually, can you swap out the switches for the Vince? Changed my mind. <laughs> Dude, you want the Vince? <laughs> They're not lubed or anything. They're hella scratchy and hella pingy. You want them? I'll, I'll slap them in right now, dude. Uh, bro, literally drove an hour in the rain to do a tech support job for a photo booth printer. I asked them if they checked beforehand. They said it was fine. So what ended up happening? They plugged it into an extension cable, but not the wall. Oh my God, dude. That's kind of embarrassing though. That's kind of embarrassing. Like, what do you, what do you do at that point? You know, like, what do you do? Is this not opening? What the fuck? There we go. Little sticky. Little sticky because of this uh, this piece right over here. All right. If memory serves, we just drop this in, right? If memory serves. Um, collect the pay and move on. Stupid isn't free, people. I don't know, man. Like, I, I do personally, like, I feel for the majority of people who, like, legitimately need help with IT stuff. I get that, dude. Push it in with force. Yeah, I'm just gonna try to align it first. I don't remember that much about this board. Let's see, is it all nicely aligned? Because it has to go in between this, like, sticker thing, right? I think there was a trick if I remember correctly. Like you gotta do it over here and then you slide it this way and then you do it this way here. Uh, I have I have a spare if you break it. So do I. Oh, a spare sticker thing? No, we'll get it, we'll get it. We're getting it now. That looks like it's in the way. Okay, top is good. We shift it a little bit more up. You know what, actually? This is hot fob. This actually works out better. Monk mounting design. You know what, we'll, we'll forgive it. It's a bit of an older build. How about we forgive it, guys? It's a, it's a little older. So I think I think it can use some forgiveness. It's a five-year-old cube. Yeah. Trash mounting, but sounds great. Yeah, like a, a little not well thought out, but you know what? It, it worked. <laughs> nope, we throw it away. Okay, let me screw it in, just make sure the keys all actuate and I didn't destroy anything by pushing this in. Lengths of screws, right? Did I put the long ones at the top? Uh, 
Uh, Kepler, like Armor or the K-pop group. Um, this is a bit of an older board, so I would highly doubt this would be anything. Maybe five years ago. Was there was there K-pop stuff five years ago? I'm not too sure. Is it K-pop related? Can I see Alex's reflection on the back of the weight? No, oh, wait, you can't really right now. Hold on. I had to flip it the other way around. There. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me plug this in and make sure it all actuates. Uh, well, again, I have to do it in my lap because I don't have a cable dock long enough for this. So I apologize. You won't be able to see what I am doing. I mean, it works. You guys can hear it clicking, but let me God see what's damn. going to be. Yeah. Thank you for the. I appreciate the five tier ones, man. Thank you, dude. Yeah, we are good. Everything is actuating. Perfect, perfect. Oh. I hit the Windows button here. Happy Monday. How are you doing, Kim? It is indeed a Monday. Nice. Well, is it is it a is it a happy Monday? I want to say it's happy. I want to say it is. What the hell is the backspace bound to? Weird. <clears throat> All right. So I'll leave this like this. <clears throat> it's a tiring Tuesday morning for me now. Not necessarily happy, but trying hard to not touch the computer. I get that. I get that entirely. I feel like this is gonna sound so good. Okay, keycaps going on. What side is this? This is this is from Scudet, right? Yeah, it is. And then we'll play around with space bars until we get one we like. Three. Wait, this is Red Devils? Oh, you're right. It is. That's not Crimson Cadet. I was gonna say, this looks a little bit less saturated than Crimson Cadet. Very, very cool. I don't think I've actually ever seen this set in person. This might be my first time. My dream set? Is it not available anymore? Hmm. Those alphas sound crispy already, dude. Those alphas sounding good. Where is Greg? He's on vacation right now. He um he had enough. He he just needs to take some time off. A little little vacay, you know. Thoughts on the stabs? I need to tune this one. I mean, I did a really light coat. Let me tune them up a smidge. Stabs sound good, although the board is the board aligned okay? Feels like it's a little too much to the left. Well, let me put some stuff here. Let me put all the keycaps in and let me judge some stuff here. Fish tacos? Ooh. This sounds pretty good. I had just some pork for dinner. And then, or did I have pork? I don't know. You need to move around. Slight taste of, yeah, I might have to open this up, re unscrew it after stream. Oh shit, this goes here. And then shift things around to get it perfect. 
Usually that's the case with these type of mounting styles. I think that's why people probably moved away from things like this. If you if you guys want to know, because they were they were never perfect. Looks like the spacing, but the yeah yeah it needs to be moved around. Even over here, it's a little bit. So we need to probably open this up and shift it around. We'll do that here in a second. I'm gonna tune this spacebar a bit. Still better than the keyboard from earlier stream. You know, I think that keyboard had its set of issues. I think it was still an experience nonetheless, but I hope it's a, a lesson learned for everyone involved there, you know? If that makes any sense at all. This is not even, this is, okay. I might have to unscrew this right now and fix this. Okay. Nice cap set. Ooh, Red Devil's pretty nice. Damn, that's actually like off by a huge margin. So, Easy is it to shimmy this around? Oh, it's not that bad to shimmy around here. Oh, this definitely moves a bunch. Damn. Still needs to go up a little bit here. I still feel like this part needs to go down and this part needs to go up a bit. Unstick the stickier, uh, if you want to stay unstick the stickier part of the red. Oh, this part, is it adhesive, is that why? No, I don't think I want it to stay yet. I wanna like, oh, I see what's going on. It's just like pulling itself one direction here. All right. I'm gonna actually just make sure it all is 100% and I like the sound before I finalize that part. But let's uh, let's just finalize it all and then I'm gonna, and then I'll pe probably peel it off and seed it all 100% type deal. You know what I mean? I think that's probably the smarter decision to make here instead of finalizing it real quick. What mounting is this? It is just like, I mean, what would you guys consider this? Like a gas, it's like a gasket, right? It's like a gasket mounting style. Oh shit, my bit. Hmm. I mean, it sounds really good. <laughs> Selfie mirror. Thoughts in the aura ring? Is it considered an aura ring? Uh, a little selfie mirror though, that is funny. Delete, and this is the upper. And let's get a five syringe. Running dangerously low. Perfect. Ooh, this is a great set for this, huh? This does look nice for this. Ooh, this is a good looking. Ooh. All right, so these are MX2A cherry switches. I filmed, loomed, lubed, and spring swapped these. And I actually lubed these a bit different. That was the one thing I was gonna tell you guys at the very end here. 
I wanted to get these to sound a smidge fuller, so I actually used a very, very small amount of GS2 instead of 205 on this. Damn. Oh, this sounds... Yeah, so the owner, Vitaly, he, he trusted me with, with uh, picking some switches here for him, so I'm hoping I didn't let him down. Obviously, we still need to adjust this a little bit. It still needs to be a little bit this way, but... Vitaly, I don't think it went through, man. But it, he donated 10 and said, it sounds like ass. Damn. Okay. Very happy with this. What's it, what, what is your thought? What are you guys' thoughts? You guys like this? Damn. So wait. I never actually tried it. Uh, with the other PCB and the alpacas, what was it? What did it sound like? Did it sound that much different? Sounds good, man. Appreciate that, dude. I don't know. It's not going through. It's not doing the TTS. I think it's because it's too, too long of a word. Thank you, man. I appreciate the tip, dude. Thank you. Thank you. I am genuinely curious. Like, was the alpacas really that bad? You change the board. So this is like miles better with this. Damn, I'm actually so curious to know what the alpacas sounded like. Damn. Sorry guys, I'm getting kind of lost in doing this right now. Yeah, dude, I'm loving this space bar. It's like hitting. The alphas are just. The stabs were not good and the alpacas on the, were a bit muted. I mean, I can tell you right now. Yeah, these stabs were, these stabs were fucked up. In fact, one of the stabs has popped out. <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> Classic. This is good. This is a really good sound. Okay, now the next task, which I'll probably just do off stream. Honestly, getting a little late. I'll probably just readjust this, take some photos, and send this back uh, to Vitaly. But, dude, this turned out sick, dude. This. And if you guys haven't seen the board, it has this built-in limo, which is really cool as well. Dude, this looks like a piece of furniture. This came out crazy. I'm so happy. I'm I'm thankful you trusted me in the last-minute switch of our, our switches. I really think that if we stuck with the Vince, they would have sounded like ass. Look at this, look how pretty this is. Don't have a limo to connect it to? Um, no, I do. I do have a limo to connect it to. It's just, uh, it's like less than a foot long. So unfortunately I can't, I'll be at the NK meetup if you want to save on shipping costs. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with Tali. I don't think I can actually bring, I, I, I don't know if I'm gonna bring this through the border. Um, I've heard way too many stories. I don't, I don't want to risk it on your product, man. I don't want to risk it there. I don't, I don't, I don't want to do that. 
Let's type upside down. This turned out sick, dude. The Canadian board is tough. Yeah, I don't want this to be confiscated and then suddenly we're out of keyboard, you know what I mean? Canadian Customs drilled a hole through my board. Yeah, let's just not even risk it, dude. This thing, yeah. Best thing from Project KB. Yeah, this is a nice board, dude. Fuck, this is nice. You know, and the nice thing too, if you really hate the space bar afterwards, you can switch it up for something else. Like if you want it, something, I don't know, do whatever. It's, damn, damn Vitaly just flexing on us. He's like, do whatever you want. I got a PC Kohaku. Uh, we used, this is my first time using them. Um, MX2A uh, Cherry MX Blacks. Uh, I, I had, okay, well, not really my first time. Technically, I tried them on a little macro pad that I had tested. Uh, but they sounded really full and I was like damn these are pretty nice and um, I did find while I was doing kind of my my testing with them Dude, this is the GS2 is coming back for me I'm starting to do more and more with GS2 because I'm finding with particular switches you get almost like a deeper sound signature with the GS2 loop versus the um, 205 uh, You know on if you were to give me MX two A's and ultra glides, I would actually probably for some reason I don't know these sound not just in this board but these felt even in hand deeper sounding than the ultra glides I don't know if there's a difference I really don't know enough about the two but um yeah these sounded fantastic I'm definitely buying these again I see you have the prototypes keyboard can you do a sound test on them the prototypist keyboard which one huh uh hello cutie lamp dude how is lamp doing by the way ah <sighs> Uh, maybe I'm mixing up the keys. The pro are you talking about the protagonist? I don't have a lot of keyboard. The one on your desk. Oh, this is um, this is a mode keyboard. This is the Sonic. Here, I'll do a little sound test on this guy. Oh, it's so heavy your keyboard. I I don't have a, a J dash O two. I I, I had the opportunity to get one, but. Fuck, now I want to lube a pair of these switches to put in this. The dark alphas are coming around to me. Uh, these are Obscura switches. I can actually put one in the box for you when I shift this board back to you and you can play around with it as your spacebar if you want. They're, they're, uh, I, I think they're a wonderful switch. I mean, hell, we can try it right now. I keep forgetting, we mill max the spacebar. Here, we'll try it real quick. I have a feeling it's going to be way too loud sounding because it is a long pull switch, but let's see. Nice thing about mill maxing. What do you guys think? What, do you guys like this better than the cherry? Is there too much of a difference? I think they sound great either way. That's lit. I don't know, I'm good with either or. I think I might have preferred, you like the Obscura slightly better? Weird, I actually kind of like the MX Black in this a little bit more, but fire my guy. This one's better? Well, I'll still, I'll give this to, I'll give this to, uh, to Vitaly here. I like the MX Black better? Yeah, I think the MX Black fit this board more. I think this fits it more. It's not as like, I mean, this is a long pull switch. So this is definitely gonna have like that beefier top end or I guess beefier sound in general. But this sounds great, dude. Well, that's pretty much the stream, guys. 
This turned out amazing. Got to admit, very happy with the way this turned out. I am extremely, extremely happy with this. All right, though, guys. Thanks for the amazing stream. Appreciate Alex. Super happy. I am so happy as well. That was fun. Dude, turned out insane. All right, guys. Enjoy the rest of your nights. Let's go find someone to, uh, to raid. I can't use this keyboard. I forgot. Uh, let's go find somewhere to raid. streaming. Let's just go right Nai Is she done? I don't know if she's done. Fuck it. We're just gonna go raid Nai Nai. She's almost done? Well, she's gonna need a raid now. Uh, thanks everyone. See you guys very, very soon. I appreciate everyone for tuning in. Can't wait to see you guys soon. Um, I'll see some of you guys on Saturday and then I'll see you guys again tomorrow at 1 p.m. Bye everyone. I love you and say hi to Nai Nai. Peace out.